In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a bokeh-inspired nail art design. See those translucent circles floating across this video? Those are bokeh lights. They're prominent in out-of-focused images of points of light produced by a camera's lens. I've taken this beautiful quality from photography and film to create a bokeh-inspired design with a watercolor background and gold accents. Keep watching and I'll show you the techniques I use to achieve this stunning manicure. First, we're going to use a base coat. This step will help protect our natural nails and it will anchor the polish onto the nail for a long-lasting manicure. Next, use a white polish and paint one thin coat over the nail. I like to use OPI's Alpine Snow because it's very opaque. Next, I'm taking a pastel green and painting the corner of a makeup sponge with it. Then, I'm dabbing off the excess onto paper. This is important because we want the color to be light and blend well. Then, I'm pressing the color onto the nail in random spots. Now, I'm using a blue polish and blending some of that into the nail as well. Then, I'm moving on to yellow. Again, you want to dab off the excess because you don't want too much polish on the sponge. The final color I'm adding in is pink. Try to cover all of the white areas, and if you get any on your skin, don't worry about it, just remove it after. For the bokeh, I'm using a white acrylic paint and a small rounded paintbrush, both from the craft store. Pour a little paint onto tin foil and then dilute it by using water. The diluting part is very important for this technique to work. I recommend dipping the brush in twice to get the right consistency. Then add in some large spots over the nail using the paint. Don't overlap them, just add a few in open areas. Give these spots about 10 seconds to dry a little, and while you're waiting, press the brush onto a paper towel to soak up the paint on the brush. Again, this is another important step for this technique to work. Once you're finished that, use the dry brush to soak up the middles of the spots. Try to keep the white ring outline on the edges for best results. There you go, your first set of bokeh. Now, go back in and repeat the same steps to add more layers of these translucent circles. You can overlap them this time for a pretty effect. When you're finished, you'll be left with a gorgeous bokeh-inspired design. You can leave your nails just like this, or you can add in some gold accents. Let me show you. Use a gold metallic striper and outline your nail. Take your time while doing this and have both hands rested on the table. Rotate your finger to easily do the tip. Then use a fast drying top coat to adhere a small gold stud near the cuticle. These studs are from Sally Hansen's I Heart Nail Art Collection. Once you've secured it into the clear polish, you can go ahead and add a top coat over the entire nail. This will seal in the stud, acrylic paint, and polish, and it will add a beautiful shine to your nails. And that's it! I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time!